I'm going to show you today how to make the uh, hot cozies that I uh, use for my cooking system every go out in the backcountry. I'm going to make it for uh, this one liter pot here. And all you need are uh, the pot that you're going to be making it for, for sizing, a uh, pair of scissors, some duct insulation. This stuff, you're generally going to buy this in, uh, in rolls like this from your hardware store. The shiny material helps to reflect the heat back in, and the, uh, the bubble wrap here helps to hold the heat. And you also need the tin tape here, which uh, you use to hold the whole thing to uh, the whole thing together. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now these things have really changed the way I, uh, I cook outside. Um, so many things it's good for. One, you can uh, you can use them uh, on their own without the pot. So if you're doing something like pancakes, you can. Um, cook up the pancakes in your pot and then put them in here, put the lid on top of it and that will uh, keep them warm while you're, uh, while you're cooking the rest of them and you just keep on stacking them up in here. Uh, you can use these for, let's say this was a cup and it's going to rehydrate something, you can put in some hot water, put in whatever you're going to rehydrate, put this on top to help to uh, keep the heat in. It's handy if you're cooking with the lid. Um, if you have this kind of system, and I honestly don't understand pots that don't have frying pans and lids, uh, but you can use the lid, and if you have something in here, you can keep that hot by putting this on top. You don't need the lid to keep it hot, and vice versa, you can do the same thing with the uh, with the lid, and you can continue cooking uh, cooking with this. You can use this as a bowl. This is uh, handy for if you're collecting berries or something like that. Um, uh, the list goes on, I'm probably forgetting about 10 other uses for these things, but they're really useful. Uh, the main thing you're using them for is for cooking and replacing having to simmer. So if you're cooking something that is calling to be simmered for 15 minutes, instead of simmering it for 15 minutes, you would bring it to a boil, uh, turn off the stove, put it into the uh, pot cozy and leave it for twice as long as it's called to be uh, simmered for. So if you're looking at 15 minutes for simmering, you leave it in here for 30 minutes and it comes out absolutely perfect. And the really nice thing about that is you don't use all of the fuel that you're using to, uh, to simmer it. And you're also uh, not worrying about, having, about burning it or anything like that. You don't have to do anything. You just bring it to a boil, put it in here, and uh, you're, you're good to go. And this works great for things like uh, rice, uh, brown rice especially, that, takes, uh, that can take a long time to cook. Just put it in and it's, uh, it's good to go. I'll use this sometimes even if, I'm, if I want to keep some coffee hot and I'm using my analogy for something else, put the coffee in here to cover this up. It really does a, uh, it really does a great job. The other thing that we're going to need as well is a, uh, a marker. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got some pieces here left over from another project and these are going to be, I think, just right for, uh, for the tops here. Yeah, that should be good. So now we'll just put that down there. Right around the edge here. You may need to do a little bit of adjustments here as you go once you get them out to sizing them just so. We'll go ahead and make the bottom section first and then we'll make the top and that way we'll get the, the fit just right. Now we're going to be taping, we're going to be putting this along like this. So it's not going to, this, this isn't going to be on the bottom like this. It's going to be like that. So this is going to be the exact dimensions of the inside. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to shave a little bit off of this. So we'll just make a small adjustment here. It's just kind of sizing as you go. You can eyeball it and dry fit it. There. Yeah, that looks, uh, that looks about right there. So now what we want to do is get the piece which we're going to wrap around the pot on the bottom. So we want to get the height here. We want to bring it right up to the lip and so that way it's going to give it a nice snug fit. So I'm just going to mark the uh, mark the height of this right about there. All 
Okay, let's see how we're looking now. This is looking about right. All right, perfect. Okay. So for the taping, I find it's often easier if you take a larger piece, peel it back. Now be careful because this is going to really snap back here. You don't want to get caught up in itself. And then I'll, uh, I'll take this and I'll just pin it on something, like on the edge of the table, and then just cut off the pieces as I need them here. I'm going to do that right here. So right now, I just want to tack this in place. This is about where we want it here. I'm just going to put a strip across there. Just hold that where we want it. And on the bottom here, and uh, just keep them on my fingers and then put them here on each, on each side. Again, just to hold it in place while I'm uh, putting the rest of it together. There we go. This one here has a little section for, uh, for the pot holder, so I cut that out of, uh, of uh, the bottom section here and I'll do that now and that way I'll get a better feel for the, uh, the snugness of the fit. Now it is still, it's a little bit loose, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up a little bit. There we go, that's giving a little bit of a, a little bit of a better feel here. Again, you want, you don't want it too tight, you want it to be able to slip in pretty snug, but uh, you don't want to have any problems getting it out. So now we can actually start putting this guy together a little more solid. Now you can't really, because of the tape is tin, you can't really just kind of run it all along the edge here or really start bunching up. It's usually best to take it and put it on bits at a time here, like that. And again, I'll usually... Uh, Cut off a few pieces. So we have got uh, a few I can work with here. So we'll just go around. You don't want to have any of the the plastic here showing because if any if, it, if any of the uh, the hot pot touches that, it will melt. So you want to keep that all covered up very well. You don't want any of that, uh, you don't want any of that showing. Bunch that in there, it will really take form around it. And any little, I want to check for any little openings here, any little spots that were missed, and make sure you cover those up. Make sure it's all completely sticking down there. You don't want any water or anything to be able to get in under the tape and then just start it'll just start taking it off. So just shake that around it. 
There we go. That's about right up there. So that's our bottom starting to really take shape here. Um, so the outside is from all the plastic is completely covered up. Now we also want to cover up this little this little bit of plastic here. So we'll do that. Okay, so now on the inside here, we still have some of the plastic here exposed. Now we want to go around and do basically what we did on the outside. We want to do that on the inside here and to seal all of this up with, uh, with tape. So we're just going to want to go around the inside here. And basically the same thing as did before. Now, Whenever putting this on, I generally try to give it a little bit of an angle before it gets in there and kind of stick it on the bottom first and then uh, and just kind of press it up against the wall, stick it on the bottom here and then press it against the wall. tapes in place. I don't know if you can see here but where the tape isn't really quite making a connection you really gotta make sure you really push that down and make sure it's got a really nice adhesion to the plastic all the way around. You really don't want to pop the bubbles as much as possible. Whenever it comes time to clean them I usually just will uh, give them a very light rinse in uh, some water with a little bit of uh, bleach in it. And then just on the inside here, where it connects, um, I'm just going to put a little stick on there. And let's get that right there. Like so. And a little bit to the outside, in the same spot. So that is uh, most of it for the bottom here. And again with the plastic now, we want to do the same thing and go all the way around the, uh, the lip here with, uh, with tape as well to protect that. Now for here you can go with a little bit a bit of longer pieces because you can kind of uh, kind of straighten it up as you go and we'll just make our way around
and there you have the, uh, the finished product.